Hi guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we are going to talk about MS Project. MS Project is a tool in the Microsoft family that allows you to create a planner for your team, usually in the form of a Gantt chart, at least by default. So as you could see here, this is a, a, a created report already. And you would see that we have several tasks under phases of a certain project. And then there is this visual representation in the form of a Gantt chart. And the idea of MS Project is that when your tasks are linked, if you change any of the start dates, then the succeeding tasks will update accordingly. So you will easily see if a certain task will be delayed or if there are changes in the date or in the end date of the project or a certain task. So let's start doing this. And then in the next videos, we're going to deep dive further by adding resources like how do you add manpower how do you add materials how do you add costs to the project and then in another video we are going to talk about how to create reports so for now let's create this gantt chart so the first thing when you open your ms project is that you will be asked to click new and then blank project and then right there, you will see that it's already a pre-formatted Gantt chart. But take note that this is just the first and main view of MS Project. You will see here under task, several views, like different ways to see how the project will look like. But by default, it would be best to start in a Gantt chart because it's easy to see. And of course, whenever you create your project, you have to start with the list of tasks. But before you even put the tasks names in your project, first you have to set some things. Like for example here, I'm going to go to file and then under file, I have to go to options. In the pop-up, you will first determine the schedule of your um, organization. So do you start your week on a Sunday or on a Monday or wherever so for this let's say we start our week in a monday our usual work is eight to five so that's it and next is we have to control the display so under the display what is most important here is for you to check what currency your ms project is on by default because remember your reports will be based on this and that later in an advanced video when you merge several projects together, because you can do that, the currencies of those projects has to be in the same currency. Otherwise, you'll get some problems. Of course, for example, if one of the project is in Philippine Peso and the other one is in US dollar, then there will be a disconnect regarding the costs. So let's set this at US dollar and then click OK. Now, let's see. We now are ready to start with our project. So the very first thing you have to put in your project is the name of your project. So let's say we're going to name this uh, Manila Bridge Project. And then next is you would have to put the phases of your project. So let's say for the first one, we are going to talk about the initial phase. And under the initial phase, there would be some meetings, for example. Oops, let me just cancel that. Okay, there will be your client meeting first. And then you would have your interdepartmental meetings. So you're sort of like, we list down the tasks. And then you'll have a meeting about identification of suppliers and then you'll have preparation of budget and then you will have your let's say sending of purchase orders to your suppliers and then you would have to pay your suppliers and so on and eventually you will get this milestone wherein 
the supplies have arrived or let's say supplies are complete and then the next phase would be the construction phase and since I'm not from the construction industry I'll just put here uh, construction or let's say initial construction tasks okay and then we have the build build okay phase and then we have the finishing phase okay now you would notice once you've listed down your tasks you would have this task mode which is an indicator that this is manually scheduled so you could do that and then you would have to choose the date okay of your project okay this one here but one thing is that we could also set this as something automatic but before that we have to set up the project information first so the project information sets the start date of your project so by default we start with your start date there are actually other ways to sort of like create the gantt chart but this is the most basic and probably the easiest way to do it so we'll go with start date at august 1st and then click ok now next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this into automatic because right now we're being forced to do this or schedule each task manually we're in what we can do is we will have to convert this into auto schedule by going to task and then auto schedule so highlight those first and then auto schedule and now those markers are now switched to auto schedule and the next thing is that you will now have this small bars here and ms project is sort of like giving us an estimate of how long that task is so you see there one day with a question mark and you see that everything here starts at august 1st our project start date so what we're going to do is we're going to then identify the days for our tasks so let's say for the client meeting it will take one day so i will type here one d to signify one day for interdepartmental meetings let's say there's going to be a lot of meetings so that's going to be two days and then for the identification of suppliers let's say it will take some three days budget preparation would be two days sending of purchase orders let's say that will just take one day and finally pay the suppliers for two days so take note that i did not set a date for the initial phase ms project will calculate this later on and for the supplies complete this is more of like a milestone this is an indicator that the phase has been completed so this will not take a day it's more of like just a marker so i'll put there zero d and you will notice that milestones have a diamond symbol okay in the gantt chart now we're going to proceed with construction phase let's say this initial construction phase will take one week so you could type one w the build phase will take let's say four weeks this is more of an assumption again we're just playing around with the project here but of course it will take more than that for finishing phase let's say it will just take two weeks now the next thing now that you've identified the start dates is you'll have to link a the faces together with their tasks so the first thing we have to do is highlight all the tasks except your title task the first one here the manila bridge project and then you'll have to indent the tasks so under task after you've highlighted the tasks click here the indent task button so these tasks will now be under the manila bridge project task name you would notice that the duration has been changed to 20 days so this is more of an estimate we're not yet done and i hope you also realize how the cell here the 20 days cell turned blue and this one as well so this means that 
that cell changed so something happened that cell has been updated it's not the same as before then the next thing is of course we have to also do that for the phases so we're going to highlight all the tasks under the initial phase and then insert or indent the task so this task will now be under initial phase and this here would also be under the construction phase all right by now we're not yet done but almost there at least for the gantt chart part you will notice that all our dates are in august uh, starts at august 1st so we have to do something about that by linking these tasks so right now ms project assumes that they will all start at the same time because we haven't told ms project that these are all related or connected to one another so we'll highlight them and then under task you should see there link the selected tasks and you would notice that the gun chart now updated with this kind of structure and the dates are also automatically calculated by ms project so if our project started at august 1st and it will take one day so you will see that it's just august 1st there and then august 2nd to august 3rd for the two-day task and august 4 to august 8 for this one take note that has a weekend that's why the date is like awkward so next is that we're also going to link those under the construction phase and then link them you will notice that in the left part of your gantt chart you would notice that you have these numbers the predecessor column so the predecessor column corresponds to the row number as to which that task is connected to so this interdepartmental meeting belongs to row four but it's linked to row three okay so that's another way to link actually and we're going to demonstrate that by linking the first task of the initial construction phase this one it doesn't have any links yet to this row okay the supplies complete so supplies complete here is row nine so that's what we're going to type here nine and you will see that the gantt chart here updated okay it now moved as a prerequisite okay before the construction phase starts okay in we now have your gantt chart so that's how to create a gantt chart okay just to let you know you could also sort of like schedule them by force like dragging like this one let's say identification of suppliers or let's say preparation of budget we could have the preparation of budget start somewhere earlier than our expected date and take note that whenever you do some changes, um, MS Project will bring up the planning wizard and it will sort of like verify if you, what you want to do exactly. So since I moved that bar to the left, okay, so should we cancel and keep the link? Don't do anything. Maybe you just drag it by mistake or drag it and remove the link okay and move the preparation of budget to start on the august or the 5th of august instead of august 9th okay so take note that if you do this this means that that task is not linked anymore to the previous task right we're not going to wait for the identification of suppliers to be completed before we prepare the budget so there should be no link so therefore we can click ok at this point and as you could see no more link connecting those bars and the bar here went to the left and 
all the succeeding tasks also follow. So that's the idea of MS Project in a nutshell. In the next videos, like what I mentioned a while ago, we're going to talk about how to edit tasks, how to assign resources, how to create report, how do you track completion, how do you set baseline. So I hope to see you in the next videos. But for now, I hope you hit the like button and subscribe. And for any questions, feel free to use the comment section and we'll try to answer your question as soon as I can. Thank you and keep safe, guys.